Hi, I'm Erica. And I'm Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to, to Accio Whip. Whip. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining us again on our floss tube expeditions. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call them. Um, but yeah, we'll go through our last few weeks, what we did, what we finished, what we started, what we're working on. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I got two finishes done. I got one finish. Ooh, okay. Um, I will go first then since... Well, mine's a finish-ish. A finish-ish, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I got one finish-ish and one finish. So the finish-ish is Castle... And we all know and love. Yeah, Castle of the Creep. All the stitches are in. <laughs> the classic. That's what the it classic. was. The classic. <laughs> the, the top to bottom. So now it goes into the back stitch pile. Yay, back stitch pile. So, yeah, I had to do just over 2,000 stitches to get that completed, which I think I finished off the day after our last recording or two days after our last recording. So I went to town on it to get it done. Yeah, he really wanted to get it done. Yep, because I got lots more to do. So don't we all? <laughs> all right. What was, what's that new cross stitch? Uh Buying cross stitch like I'm immortal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what'd you finish? Um, I finished ish. I finished the top of the drum of uh, Lady Liberty Blackbird Designs, and this is what it looks like. Um, on here. You see where the B is, where they did where they did the um, the floss coming out. Well, I did it for the E because I mean I'm Erica, and but I did it at the really? end. Your name's Erica. At the end, um, she started it at the top of the B, which I was thinking. You know, if you're stitching, you kind of go how you go. It, you go how you go. Yes, um, and so then anyway, that's I put it at the bottom, and then I kind of went around but so that is my lady liberty by blackbird designs i started this new year's e new year's day in 2022 and i am going to do the other part of the drum i haven't started that yet and that's that cool your turn awesome so number two finish is cluck cluck Boo. Uh, with, with the chickens. So that one's finally done. Uh, that didn't take too much extra. That was just about 600 stitches to finish that off, which most of it was the picket fence there. So, and that's that. That one's done. So I'll move on to another pedal pusher. Um, and. Do you know what one you're going to do next? I'm not sure yet. I kind of like there's Moo Villa or something like that. It's a cow. And then there's a U. Ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I might I might hold off another couple weeks before I start another one of these. Um, I've done three thus far this year. You really like doing all the finish. You like finishing them. I like, yeah, because so. usually I can get them done in about two weeks. And I get a finish, but I think I'm going to hold off because I just, you'll see later, I got a couple new starts and I got another start I'm going to do again. So um, I think I'm going to hold off a few weeks before I start another one of these. So I only have two more to go. So, and then I'll have the complete Halloween portions of Pedal Pushers done. Okay. Uh, so that's our finishes. Do we want to do new starts or go into whips? What's your order that you got there? I don't have any new starts to show. Oh, you don't have any new starts to show? No, because I um, it's a secret. Oh, secret. Secret. 
secret. Secret. Okay. Um, well, I don't know if the people that I'm doing them for is are going to be watching, but anyway, it's a secret. <laughs> okay. So I'll do my two new starts. So on Facebook, <clears throat> there is a Halloween cross stitch challenge group um that i signed up for really cool because halloween um and they're doing a monthly challenge around touring new orleans and there's a bunch of different spots uh that you need to that you can visit um certain spots you have to do x number of stitches uh hunt, anything from 100 stitches uh, per spot up to, there's a couple, I think that are 900 stitches or a thousand stitches, uh, to, to say, Hey, I visited this spot and you collect badges for each spot that you, or each location that you quote, quote, visit, um, as part of the challenge. So I started Baba Yaga by Autumn Lane. And I got this as part of their Halloween box last year, I think it is. Um, I'm pretty sure that's where I got it from. And I got a really good start on this. I got just under 1,500 stitches in the last couple weeks. But there's the top of the little hut up top and the tree coming down the right-hand side. And the nice green smoke coming out the chimney. So I'll be focusing on this again <clears throat> pretty much all month during this uh, stitching challenge. So um, if you like doing Halloween things and, and challenges, look up the Halloween Halloween Cross Stitch Challenge Group. Um, really active. A lot, of, a lot of cool Halloween patterns that I've never seen before um, kind of pop up in there. So, And then my other start... Is by Firewing Designs. Whoops, I got thread all over the place on this one. Is whoop, let me take this out of the plastic. The messenger. Cool the dragon. Cool dragon. Erica got me this for my birthday. I don't know, birthday, Christmas, something. Yeah, birthday or Christmas, I don't remember. Um so I decided to start that, and I'm doing this on 32 count, I think it's Denim by um, Roveris, and I'm using some specialty floss that we got in the Black Needle Society Frogworts called Pumpkin Juice by uh, Color and Cotton, but that's where I'm at now. Yeah, yeah I'll use the back of this, there we go. So... I really like the, the the variegation on the thread there, but I got pretty much the dragon body in. Um, just got to do the remaining part of the tails, and then the wings come way out on both sides. Um, but I did get just about 900 stitches in right there, so pretty good progress for the for the two weeks there. So those were my two new starts. Good. Um, yeah, so now, now I'm ahead, and now you got more to show than I do, because this was part of my whips when we were talking, mm -hmm. whips back and forth. Whoopsie. That's okay. But that's okay. All right, well, what do you got? Enough of me talking. Um, my throat's getting dry. Uh, last month was, for my uh, focus of the month, it was Aurora by Quaker Studio, Quaker Fantasies by RETM. It was a Quaker fantasy. Anyway. I uh, finished off this, uh, the baby carriage, or baby thing, and so here's what I got so far, and I just finished that part off. You still can't really see it. I wish you could. I don't know. I even changed the color so that way you can see it better and you still can't really see it. That's, that's okay. Yeah, I like it. And then since yeah, do another I'm, one. <laughs> I'm gonna go again. <laughs> my my month uh, my focus for the month this month is uh, must be possible. 
and that is by um, the Black Needle Society, and it was in our murder mystery box. And uh, I'll have Kevin show you a picture of what it looked like because the change, I think I had like only about a thousand stitches in it from last time, and this is where I am now, which I think is just crazy. This is the win that I'm doing for our Monopoly challenge. So every time we have a Monopoly challenge, um, you can tell I lost because I had to do a lot of stitching. <laughs> I won one. Um, yeah, so I had to do a lot of stitching. And um, anyway, I'm up to, I think, uh, I think I did at least 2,000 stitches, if not more. I don't... You had 6,000 on the board if you did the entire... Month though, just month. Oh, just for the month. Oh, just for know. the month. Yeah, and though that that is arbitrary because those are my stitches from what you did. Oh, those are my stitches. That's what my score was. Right, so. right. But then, but then I had to buy the properties and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So yeah. who knows? Who knows? Who knows how many I did? But nope. So <clears throat> and here's I forgot to throw. Here's that floss uh, pumpkin juice. You can see it's got some really cool orange and burnt orange color to it so um super stoked on it. i just love that color so uh, <clears throat> next up for me is rip it the frog by pick stitch he's mm -hmm. on twitch uh a little guy here it's a free pattern that he has on his twitch account so if you're ever bored on a monday or a thursday uh I think it's 6 p.m. Eastern time. Jump on Twitch. He does all sorts of random, random things. But here's a picture of it before as I bend down and grab what it looks like now. There's things in it. I know. I got my cue snap inside. <laughs> and here's where I'm at now. I got one leg, toe. I think I got this as leg to do. Um, and then up toward, you can see his eyeballs starting there in the black. Um... But yeah, I got just over 500 stitches of this in the last couple of weeks. Actually, the last couple of days, um, I worked on this one. I pulled this out to finish off our current Monopoly game that we ended up ended last night. So, and he's really excited because he won. I have a last. I won the last three others. Just wanted to put that out there. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I finally won one. But uh, yeah, we're gonna start another another round here or another game. Another game. Soon. Soon. Probably after we record here. So I got I erased all the all the markings on there, so we got a fresh slate to go on. It's exciting. I know. It it makes me get to to like my Aurora I've had for two years or whatever and I've only did I hardly had anything done on it, so and I'm able to get a lot done on it during during the challenges. It's it's kinda of, it's yep. kinda of fun. Um, my next one is In This House by, uh, always forget this cross, -stitch <laughs> cross Stitching Lovers. <laughs> I know. Um, it is not, it, I bought it on Etsy and so the lady's on Etsy, but I haven't, but I haven't been able to find it again. Somebody asked me and so I haven't been able to find it. But anyway, this is, uh, this is where it was. <laughs> 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 I gotta remember that. And then this is where it is now. I mostly just did the this uh, bottom line. I still like that fabric. Really cool fabric. Yeah, it is by um, Be Stitch Me. It is called Nova. Nova Core. No. Guardians of the Galaxy. Just Nova, but oh. yes. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, what's next for me? Did I do dry goods yet? No. Okay. I got lost in my notes. So next up is uh, Dry Goods by Little House Stitch Works. Little House Needleworks. Needleworks, sorry. And if you don't remember, that's what it looks like. And here's a picture of it before. And here's where I'm at now. 
So this is on Yellowstone, 32 count linen by uh, Yellowstone by Needle Bling Designs. So um, I got, like I said, about 500 stitches in, pretty much this section here. Um, sorry about the thread, but that's where I ended up with my number of stitches for my Monopoly roll. So, <laughs> I didn't, and it was late at night, so I didn't feel like finishing it off. So, but I'll get back on that one. So, your turn. All right. Um, mine is uh, the. Okay, why am I? Okay, the book covers, Harry Potter book covers. Your full coverage piece. My full coverage piece, yes. And um, it is by Fox and Teacup Designs. I'm doing it on 25 count, one over one, full cross. And this is where it was before. Gotcha. <laughs> I know. I almost got it. And uh, this is where it is now. I pretty much just, so what I do is, I guess it's called the typewriter method, is that I go to, I'm trying to do a book by book. And so, um, so I finished this first book and now I'm on the second book. I'm supposed to have the third book done by the end of this year. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> busy. I, I know it's March and I haven't even gotten last year's book done to let alone the new year's book or this year's book. Anyway, um, so the, so what I do is I pick the, the tall, the next. uppermost thread, the next thread from the top, and then I work my way down. And apparently there's something that's right here that does not have any colors that's up here because um, that's as far as I can get to with, I don't want to go all the way down here with my thread because I don't count well. I've had to <laughs> rechart a lot. Yeah, you got 10 by 10 squares. Yes. Well, I have to still <laughs> rechart a lot. <laughs> the easy count does not help me. <laughs> the grid does not help. Huh? It does not, it is not a helpful for me. So <laughs> whatever. It's fine. Cool. All right, and I think final, final is Superior Bees by Summerhouse Stitch Works. I got this as part of the Steampunk box. Oh, I got two things in there. And I worked on this just a little bit. Um, probably, like it says, 224 stitches. So it looks like I worked on that for a night. Um, I'm just trying to get this one closer to doing all the French knots. That's the color. Oh, yeah. Here's where it was before. Sorry. Erica distracted me. And I trying forgot. Trying to help him. <laughs> oh, move my needle miter over. And there's where I'm at now. Basically, I, I'm putting in all the, the wing keys um, throughout there. There's a bunch of, bunch of little ones. I don't know if you can see it. A bunch of little bitty guys here, there. Um, oh, yeah, I got some more down here to do. Um, so it's just a lot of tedious um, little flies or bees, bees keys. So, and then it'll be on to the French knot. Doing all the French knots, all 100 and some odd mini French knots. I don't know. I've never done a French knot, so... We're going to find out how much, how fun that is, but, uh, not fun. Anyway, that's on 32 count Cypress, uh, by fiber on a whim also. So, and that concludes my whips and my starts. You got one last one there? I got one last one. It is Frogwords Year 3 Band Sampler by the Black Needle Society. Cool. And it, I pretty much, uh, this is where it was before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. And then I pretty much got the Dementor going. He's not quite finished, but that's where he is. Cool. And that was that. Oh, and this is on uh, Vintage Country Mocha. I need to get back to that one. I, I still... You... That is my... I looked it up. That is my next month's... Um, Thing that I need to work on during the month. <laughs> focus. Focus. <laughs> Again, I need to focus. <laughs> <laughs>
so and then I'll just show you how I keep track of well actually hold on let me go to so I keep track of my stitches is I made a little Google form um, that's very straightforward that has the date and then there's a drop down box that has all the charts that I'm have in place or my whips I have in my place and then a spot for the number of stitches and then I just submit it and it goes into a, a Google sheet and keeps track for me. Um, Which I might have to. Super borrow. simple and if you haven't <laughs> done Google a Google form it's super simple. Um, the hard parts when you get into um, Google or the spreadsheet itself and start doing formulas and stuff like that um, but I actually have a little thing that highlights what I worked on in black and the number of stitches for the last two weeks. And then I make a little pie chart that kind of shows me what, what I worked on the most. This gives me a little more of a visual, um, aspect of what I stitched on. And that's fully configured of basically, I, I just put in how many days since our last floss tube, either it's 13 days, 14 days, 15 days. And then it, it cycles through all the responses from the form and then tallies it up for me. So I don't, so I know what I did for between floss tubes. So in total, I did uh, 60, six, just over 6,300 stitches in the last two weeks. So that's about average. I go about 5,000 to 6,000 stitches every two weeks, so. I don't know how many I do. I do. I am uh, starting March. I I am putting in how many um, stitches I do on everything. I didn't total them or anything for this last dude. Yeah, I don't know why. I just like keeping track. Even even paper patterns, since I scan them and then use um, either Good Notes or Zudu or sometimes Markup RXP. I can import them in there. Um, but even as I'm marking them with my finger, I'll just count in my head and go, okay, there's 30. And then I go to my phone and just make a note here. There's 30 stitches. You've so, got a, a little app that, that does your... Yeah, a little counter app. That, a counter. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I got a little bit of haul, which goes into my plans. Did you get any haul? No. No? No. Um, I, there's a few things that I want from market, but I'm, I'm waiting because <laughs> I have a crap ton to stitch already and I want to stitch what I have. Yep. So I think I mentioned last time I ordered some fabric for to do my Mira on to join Erica's B-Day Sal. How's that going? Have you been watching your... No, hashtag? actually I haven't. Uh... I, I know. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the worst uh, hashtagger. So anyway, I got this from Live and Die LA. Uh, it's a colorway called Smack the Jellyfish. This is a linen. So you can see it really kind of is underwatery. I don't know. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, yeah. It's um, really cool. I know it's pretty blingy for a mirror, but this is the mirror that I'm doing. The mermaid there. And I think with the oranges and the reds that that she's made up of would really go good. Do you know what she's called? Yeah, Gypsy, Gypsy Mermaid. So you can see that. I think that looked really good. So pretty good contrast there. So hopefully it won't take too much away from the mirror. Um, but yeah, that's plans, plans and haul. Finally gonna join me for my birthday. It's I am only, finally um, month and a half late. Well, you know. Well, maybe you can do it for her, Ophelia's birthday. <laughs> Started for hers. Yeah. Our grandbaby is is uh her first birthday is uh Friday the seventeenth. Yep, St. Patty's Day. St. Patty's Day. So and then you know Joanne's. Everybody loves Joanne's when, especially when DMC goes on sale for forty five cents a piece. Yeah, <laughs> it was a little ridiculous. That was my, sorry, now the cat's going to have fun. Um, that was just my stuff. I 
decided to, uh, we used to have Share. a shared DMC um, stash. And I started going to smaller lengths of thread. So shorter, shorter. shorter. yeah, smaller, shorter. Mm -hmm. So I started um, going to, a, uh, I use a 12 inch thread winder. Um, and then Erica likes them a little bit longer. And <laughs> Kat's having fun over here now. Sorry. Um, and it made it kind of difficult to put leftover thread back into stash because now we have two different lengths and all that. So I decided, hey, I'm just gonna get my own stash now. Um, I'm not gonna make it as big as our other DMC stash, um, but it will be my own my own little personal stash now. So I went to town since it was 45 cents a skein, bought just over, I don't know, 200 skeins or so. I don't know, I just went through and grabbed one of, one of each one of each up to where it breaks off into the the three thousands and then i figure next time it goes on sale i'll start at the the three thousands and get the yeah, rest none of, of the specialty ones yeah none of the specialty ones no those those will still be part of stash because stuff that we won't use very often will just be our community stash um our our weeks and our no, I meant the specialty of the of DMC, oh, like, the, like the variegated, the variegated. And twall yeah. and stuff like that. I don't use those very often, so the twall I do, but the variegated I don't. So yeah, you have your own stash of the twall anyway. I do. Well, I did for that one project. I end up having to have every different color anyway. So yeah. Uh. Anyway, any plans coming up? So we'll finish this off really quick. So. Um, no plans except, except, uh, do more on must be possible for the rest of this month and then start on, um, the frog Wurtz year three for next month and, uh, do some more on my, um, on my, uh, the secret project. The secret project. <laughs> secret, 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 secret. Uh, yeah, I kind of went through mine. I'm going to start. Erica's B Day Mira party thingamajigger. Um, so I'll get my Mira going. Mira B Day Sal. Yeah. And then um, the Halloween uh, cross stitch challenge group. I'm going to continue working on Baba Yaga a lot um, just to have fun with, with that challenge group. So um, a, lot of, a lot of great stitchers in there. And like I said, um, pretty cool. But yeah, that's. That's it for me. Yeah, I got nothing. Okay. We'll be short and sweet. Try to keep them that way. <laughs> so, till next time. Bye. Bye.